Life is hard. It brings you up, it tears you down, it leaves you face down in the dirt. But those of us who have the strength to keep getting up and persevering eventually come out better than we were before. I'm Adam Andrews with Where Are They Now, and this is the top 10 celebrities who went from rags to riches. Let's discuss in the comments, what are some of your favorite rags to riches stories that keep you inspired? And at number 10 is Idris Elba. Idris Elba has talked about his time in the 90s when he was forced to live in his car because his savings had run out. He has talked about these hard times multiple times in different interviews. When he appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Elba told DeGeneres, I moved to New York as a young, budding actor. I had some savings, but then my savings ran out. I couldn't get any work. It was tough times. Referring to the time that he was in New York, living out of his Chevy Astro van and working as a bouncer at a comedy club. And this was three months before he auditioned for a new part on an HBO series called The Wire. He also told GQ back in 2013 about how he used to have to sell the old devil's lettuce while he was bouncing and DJing just to get by. He said, quote, I was doing my work, I had to. I know that sounds corny, but this is the truth. Number nine, David Oyelowo. The actor David Oyelowo, famous for his roles in films like The Butler and Selma, did not have an easy go of things when he first moved to LA with his family in 2008, right before that year's recession. The actor had just come off of finding some success in London's film scene and was constantly asking himself why he chose to come here. He even recalls how he and his wife got down to just three dollars at one point. Luckily, things began to turn around for the actor as he began to pick up more minor roles and eventually hit it big with the butler. But being so close to completely broke must have been a hard place to be, as I'm sure a lot of us can understand. Number eight, Eminem. Almost everyone knows that Marshall Mathers grew up living in a less than ideal situation. Hell, there's a, a whole movie about it. During his childhood, his father left him and his mother, and they shuffled between Detroit and Missouri, rarely staying in one house for more than a year or two, and living primarily with family members. It was mainly in Detroit, though, where he grew up. He dropped out of high school at 17, and he worked a bunch of different jobs to try and support his mom, who would throw him out of the house despite the help that he provided. He made his way into the the underground Detroit rap scene, getting his name known and respected, and then he impressed Dr. Dre. And now, he's worth $230 million. Obviously, it's not that simple, but it was one hell of a come up. Number seven, Nicki Minaj. Onika Tanya Mirage's life was turned upside down at the age of five years old when her family moved from Port of Spain in Trinidad to a poor neighborhood in Queens, New York, where she would pray every day that she would be able to make enough money to support her mom. Initially, Nikki intended to pursue acting as her main career and even went to school for it, but because life is just life, she had to put her acting on hold and find a job as a waitress at Red Lobster in New York, a job she was fired from because because she had a bad attitude towards customers, which I can totally imagine is being hilarious to see. What a queen. She went on to work as a customer service representative for a phone company. She worked on Wall Street and had 15 other jobs she had to do while getting herself together, writing rap verses on random sheets of paper. She eventually released three mixtapes, with the third leading to her discovery by Young Money Entertainment's Lil Wayne. And now, almost everyone knows her name. Number six, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is a Canadian-born comedic legend. But legends are born through trials and tribulations, and Jim has had a fair share. He had to drop out of high school as a teenager when his father was laid off from work. He took on a job as a janitor and a security guard in order to help his family scrape by. Eventually, his family even lost their home with Carrie, his parents, and his four siblings having no choice but to live in a van and a tent in Charles Daly Park on the Lake Ontario shore in Lincoln, Ontario. Eventually, Jim, his father, and brother got a job at a factory and lived in a house across the street and this is when Jim began performing comedy in downtown Toronto while continuing to work at the factory. Fast forward to today, and Jim Carrey has been the highest paid actor in Hollywood and has a net worth of $180 million. Number five, Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone was born in New York City's Hell's Kitchen, where his mother was a hairdresser. Dead broke and expecting a child, he took bit parts in B-movies
movies, and as many people know, at one point he even sold his dog for cash. The struggle is really real, but just like his most famous character, Rocky, Sly himself is a really inspiring underdog story. He wrote the original Rocky story and fought hard to make sure that he was cast in the leading role. Today, he's one of the most lucrative action stars in Hollywood history with a net worth of $400 million and a portfolio of films that earned him more than $4.4 billion worldwide. Just a little reminder that we can all pull ourselves up and off of the ground. Number 4. J.K. Rowling J.K. Rowling is someone I am conflicted to talk about. Many people are extremely opposed to her thanks to her infamous tweets, but many also love the wizarding world she has created with the Harry Potter series. Harry Potter has made Rowling billions from not only the books, but the film franchise, merchandise, and theme parks. But Rowling was once upon a time a single mother relying on welfare, battling depression, and she referred to herself as the biggest failure that she knew. She even famously wrote the manuscript for the Harry Potter series at various cafes throughout Edinburgh during during the lowest point of her life. But here she is, now considered one of the most influential women in all of Britain and causing tons of controversy with angry tweets and defensive essays. Number 3. Mila Kunis as many people know, Mila Kunis started off her life in Soviet Ukraine. Mila's family fled to America as the Soviet Union collapsed when she was just 7 years old. In a 2016 interview with the Daily Mail, she spoke about how she sometimes had to eat ketchup soup as a kid when the food was scarce. Kunis has acted her way out of poverty, starting with a starring role on That 70s Show when she was just 14 years old, something she kept from the showrunners in order to land the role. This is also where she met her husband, Ashton Kutcher. She now has a net worth of $75 million, making her one of the wealthiest celebrity immigrants, and she and Kutcher have vowed that their children will grow up understanding the value of money as they both had to struggle to get where they are. Number 2. Oprah Oprah is an incredibly inspiring woman. There is no way around that fact. The talk show host was born to an unwed teenage mother raised by her grandmother until she was six and later lived with her mother and half-sister in a boarding house in Milwaukee, relying on welfare just to get by. It's a reality far too many people live through on a daily basis. Winfrey was then sent to live with the man she calls her father, Vernon Winfrey, in Nashville, Tennessee, and she landed a job in radio while still in high school. By 19, she was a co-anchor for the local evening news before jumping to the daytime talk show area of television. And after boosting up a third rated local Chicago talk show to first place, she launched her own production company. Now she is reportedly worth $2.7 billion and is one of the richest celebrities in the entertainment industry. And in at number 1 is Jay Z. If you listen to Jay Z's music, his lyrics almost play like an autobiography of his life. Art comes from experiences and when you're living in a constant state of struggle, the art that comes from it is elevated to another level. That's a positive way to look at the daily struggle of everyday life. For Sean Carter, he was raised in a Brooklyn public housing project, raised by his mother after his father abandoned the family. Jay Z admitted in a 2013 Vanity Fair interview that he did sell substances to escape the trap of poverty. Now, while he admitted to feeling guilty later, at the time, he was just trying to survive. He said, quote, I was thinking about surviving. I was thinking about improving my situation. I was thinking about buying clothes. And again, this is just the reality that so many people face. Now though, he is one of the most influential rappers in the game. He's a record producer, entrepreneur, and founder of talent and entertainment agency Rock Nation, with a net worth of over $1.3 billion dollars. This is the end of the list, but I really hope some of these rags to riches stories helped inspire some of you guys. Whatever you're trying to achieve, no matter the obstacles, you can do it. Always remember that. I'm Adam Andrews, this is Where Are They Now, stay safe and well informed out there, toodles.